A Nintendo Switch game that teaches you how to play the piano through the touch screen, a la Simply Piano, sounds amazing. One day, I was actually scrolling through the eShop channel when I found a game that promised just that. That game is titled Piano Learn and Play. The game promises to teach you the basics of hitting those ivory keys through a collection of different songs. Does this game live up to its $20 sale price? Hell no it doesn't, <laughs> not even close. But it's usually like on sale for a dollar instead of its regular MSRP. Um, is it worth a dollar? Well... For self-improvement, crafts, and fitness games, go ahead and turn on YouTube and watch Jack. Once you open the game, you are met with this introduction screen with this beautiful background music. I wish I could actually play this song in the game because I really like it. You are met with four options on the screen. Play, learn to play, arcade piano, and the most important part of any game, the language selection. Each of these gameplay modes are pretty much the same with a little bit of a twist in each one. Play will just have you play the piano. You can hit the keys whenever you want. It's fine. There's no song. There's no notes coming out. It's just play. Learn to play will have the song repeat endlessly and allow you to adjust the track speed so you can learn to play the song. Hence why it's titled that. Arcade Piano has you try and get a high score in the song. Lastly, languages allow you to change your language from English, Japanese, Korean, and Chinese. Sorry Germans, you won't be able to play this one. Once you do choose your option, you can pick from a very large list of about 30 different songs to play. That includes all of the free DLC packs that you might as well pick up and download since, you know, it's just free songs. All of these are MIDI covers of famous different folk tune songs and they all sound, you know, pretty good for you know basic covers and fit exactly with something that you would find in simply piano i promise i'll stop referencing that app since you know that's basically all my review is it's just referencing different things <laughs> watch that review on simply piano by the way watch it i need this uh, youtube ad revenue below the arrangements of the songs are all pretty good and they all match the song very well one issue though is that there really aren't any chords or anything with this app, so some songs just have you just play the root note when really it should be chords. But I think that's more of a limitation of the Switch, you know, having like, you know, such a little tiny keyboard here, like bing, 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 you know, you can see on the screen my big hands kind of cover the whole screen. Once you choose a song, you must play it. The colors in the overhead correlate with the keys and the square blocks tell you when to play them. It's like a piano version of Guitar Hero. The interface is super nice, but I do wish it was like in note notation, kind of like how you would normally read it or how apps such as Simply Piano do it. Again, I said I wouldn't reference that app, but I did anyway, breaking the rules. Reading staff is more likely to put this app in the actual learning category, but that would actually take a lot more effort from the developers of Anime Clock. That's right, the people who made Anime Clock made this game. Or the people who published that game at least made this game. When I first saw this game, I thought it would be like an actual teaching program, whereas in reality, this is just like a cheap toy app that you would download for free and mess around. What did I expect for a dollar? probably something better but hey it's just this you look at the screen that's what you're gonna get all right 
I gotta be nicer to this game. Come on, think of something nice. The interface. Uh, the interface and the menu for this game and the screen are rather simple and super clean. I really love the choice of colors that represent each keynote and the overall gradient. It looks really nice. I like these color choices. They did a good job with the color choices. There isn't any slowdown, which is really surprising from the publisher Red Deer Games. Uh, Red Deer Games not only makes the anime clock, they also make all those like fake operating system apps for the Switch, and also all these uh, you know hentai games, uh, which do have performance issues. Not that I would know. Anyways, if you are free to go look on their page on the Nintendo Store, you'll see so much silverware. Remember back in the day when Nintendo had like actual standards and stuff? Those were good times. One thing I want to point out while talking about this app is look at the keys if my fingers, you know, move out of the way. The app has an H key on the far right. In most of the world, that is the B key, but it is count called that H key in a few other countries, including Germany. However, and this is my conspiracy, German isn't in the language settings, so there must be a mystery afoot with this game. What is Germany planning that they had this app with the H key? And as it's just a mistake, they, they must have mistaked this key for the actual B key because it doesn't make any sense why it would still be the H key if it's not like in one of those languages. Really, I have nothing to say about this app. It's a dollar app you play for 30 minutes and then never pick up or touch again. Maybe you, you know, maybe look at it once or twice when there's like another free DLC pack and you're like, oh, that's cool. I can play, I don't know, Ring Around the Rosies or something like that on the piano. If you buy piano, learn and play at full price, then shame on you. That is a huge waste of 20 bucks. You can actually do something with your life. This is something you wait for a dollar, or better yet, not buy at all, or you just do it just for a quick video review on YouTube, because uh, you need a quick video review while you're doing longer video stuff. By the way, if you, all the publishers' games are copies of other games that they themselves have published before. I actually found this game's copy called N Piano. From the screenshots, they look identical, even with the piano having the exact copy of the game, with it even including that H key. I'm pointing this out to show kind of the lack of care on the developer's part, but also to let you know, if you've bought N Piano and you're thinking, wow, maybe this Learn and Piano Play game will actually teach me how to play the piano, no it won't, because it's an exact copy of this game. It's shameful. There's also Piano for Kids and like five other versions of this game with just different DLCs bundled in. Just pick up whatever's on sale or don't pick up anything at all. I really don't care. I have nothing else to say with this game, so I'll pay, bring up a few of the complaints that I have just so I can, you know, bitch something out. My first complaint with this game is the arcade mode. The whole point of this mode is that it shows you a score that you are playing to show how often you're hitting the notes and if you're hitting the notes on time and holding for the correct length of time. Afterward, you see your score, which is great. But that score isn't saved anywhere. You know, there's no like, oh, there's a high score. There's no leaderboards. There's nothing you can be like, oh, congratulations. You just beat your high score. It's just there, disappears. You'll never see it again. So you have to like write them down on paper. It's like the old days when they wrote like arcade high scores on like chalkboards in case a power went out. Man, I'm old <laughs> that I'm talking about arcade chalkboards now on YouTube. The second complaint I have with this game is the holding the key does not have the sound for the entire period. You can hear it in the video clip.
that means playing the song has it all cut up without any of the actual vocal chords. Third, this doesn't have anything that actually teaches you piano. Oh man, who would have thought that this shovelware game would have so many different complaints from me? Overall, I do not recommend buying this software unless you just have a dollar that's just burning on your Nintendo accounts. Save it for like a $5 Lego game for sale that you can, you know, actually have fun with and can enjoy with family. At least you can also play with your kid or spouse in those games. Pretty much every phone game and every phone app has this same exact type of like piano interface thing for free that you can mess around with anyways. Literally go on iTunes, type in piano phone and you'll get dozens of them. If you want a piano on your Switch, then this is definitely something like that. And that's it. You don't expect anything more than just a simple piano that you can and then delete later. So guys, that's it for today's review. I have done the hair clean feat of writing a thousand word report on this garbage, and you did an even bigger feat of watching a man talk about his script of this garbage game that he just played. If you want me to cover anything that isn't bad, or do, you know, whatever, if it's bad or good or not, please leave them in the comments below. I love doing challenges that people provide me as long as it's like legal and won't hurt me. So if you have any ideas of challenges, just put them below. I prefer like physical challenge because I'm obese, but anything you got. While you're down there, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers by the end of the year. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at TrueJackJink. Visit the website jack-jenkins.com. Lastly, I want everyone watching to have an amazing day. We can all improve our lives together. Yeah, get those fists up. Come on, let's do it one more time. Guys, we can all improve together. It's good. God, I'm sweaty. Ugh. I need a room that's not so hot whenever I'm doing these reviews because I'm just pouring sweat. Ooh.